what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Former NFL star Ray Coon Lewis was on a recent episode of Undisputed with Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless to discuss the Baltimore Ravens' potential signing of Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick is the ex-quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers, who is now a free agent. He's having trouble finding a new job because, as everybody with a half a brain presumes that he is being blackballed because of his stance to take a knee during the playing of the national anthem. Now, the national anthem, if you don't know, includes a third verse that talks about killing slaves, black slaves. So Colin takes a knee, he says, because, hey, I'm not going to stand for a flag that represents killing and denying the rights of black people. I'm not going to do it. So he stood for a cause. In fact, he took a knee for a cause. And can you believe it? Americans got mad about it. I mean, because this is the same country that we scream freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Hey, man, I'm an American. I got a right to say what I want to say. I'm an American. And even if you don't agree with it, you got to respect it. And, you know, you shouldn't try to deny me certain liberties because you don't agree with what I have to say. So y'all know how it go. It's only cool having freedom of speech if it works for me. If I agree with what you're saying, freedom of speech is cool. Now, this guy, Ray Lewis, he took a stab at trying to explain why he thought that the organization probably was not going to sign Colin. He said really that the reason why they were thinking or they would sign him is that, can he help us win? He said, the bottom line is, can you help us win? He said, that's the bottom line. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. Can you help us win? So Shannon brings up the fact that, man, this man is being blackballed. You know damn well that it ain't got nothing to do with can you help us win because the people that he got right now, the backup the Baltimore Ravens got right now, and the guy that they just signed makes no sense. Colin is better than both of them put together on their best days, put together. So you know it ain't got nothing to do with talent. It's got everything to do with him taking a stance. Now, some people say, well, well, they do right to pass him up, you know, because, you know, he's just going to create confusion and, you know, he's just bad for business. He's not good for business. So let me get this straight. In America, being righteous is not good for business. In America, standing for a cause is not good for business. Being a person with integrity is not good for business. Where are all of these soldiers at in America who stands up about a righteousness? What's right? We like to talk about what's right, being right, standing up, fighting for what's right. We don't even mind going overseas fighting for what's right. So this dude, Ray Lewis, says that well, when Shannon brings up Freddie Gray, because Shannon was like, man, this is about police brutality. This man stood up against police brutality. You know, that sounds like something honorable, right? You're going to stand up for police brutality. I know a lot of people that's complaining about Colin Kaepernick has been standing up lately against police brutality, against 
people that look like them. I know that for a fact. But somehow when it happens to others and you don't look like them, they, they got a problem with standing up for, against police brutality. And at that point, it's all lives matter, you know, and, and blue lives matter. But anyway, Shannon says, Freddie Gray. Nobody in the Baltimore organization, Baltimore Ravens organization, stood up for Freddie Gray. In fact, Ray Lewis defended the decision not to prosecute the, the cops, not to convict the cops. He defended the decision not to convict the cops. Now, he tells Shannon, that's not their fight. That's not the owner's fight. That's not Steve Bushati's fight. It's not his fight. So Shannon says that uh, it is it is his fight. Uh, um, it's America. It's his fight because it's injustice in America. So that's why he say like, you know, uh, injustice uh, anywhere is injustice everywhere. It's in America. It's this, it's this fight. It's, it's, it, hey man, we gonna either we gonna, we gonna either live righteous all the time, or we ain't gonna live righteous none of the time. It's gonna be right, or we gonna be wrong. We gonna we gonna keep it one hundred, or we gonna keep it ninety, and that's cool. We good with ninety, or we good with seventy, or fifty, or thirty. We good. What's it gonna be? You can't have it both ways. What's what is it gonna be? Is it only cool when it when it fits you when it's convenient? Or we're going to do it and we're going to be 100 with it. How are we going to work this out? Imagine yourself being in a relationship and you was with your partner. Are you cool with that person loving you 60% of the time, 70%, 80%, 90, 95? You cool with that? Or you want 100 every time? How does that work out for you? So Shannon told him, say, hey, man, it's his fight. You know, you 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 fight for uh you know it's your fight when you 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 start talking about uh, Ukraine. He said you care about what's going on in Ukraine. You care about what's going on in Venezuela. So why you can't care about what's going on in Baltimore? When 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 he spoke about Freddie Gray, Ray Lewis jumped out there with one of those white supremacist talking points and said, well, well, who's talking about those 200 murders? We got 200 dead in Baltimore. Who's talking about that? That's what he said. Who's talking about that? They love to throw them numbers out there like that. And then Shannon hit them with a classic. Man, Shannon, love that guy to death. Shannon say, okay, uh, here's the thing. When Pookie killed Willie, I don't know why he used my name, but he said when Pookie killed Willie, and they find Pookie, Pookie go to jail. But when the police kill somebody, when police kill a black man, where they go? He said, where they go, Ray? They go back on the police force. That's the difference. That's the difference for all you idiot, small-minded people out there that keeps throwing that number out there, keeps talking about black-on-black -black crime. For all you dummies who keep on saying, who can't get it through your little small pissy brains. That's the difference. When black people do things to black people and they catch up with the perpetrator, the perpetrator typically goes to jail and the cops ain't going to jail. That's, that is where all the uproar is coming from. Since we got to goddamn tell y'all over and over again and y'all act like y'all so damn smart, but you can't figure it out for nothing in the world. You can't figure out why people are so pissed off. You just can't figure it out. Nothing like hearing a song written by a slave owner and being forced to stand up and sing, and sing along and act like you love it. Nothing more important than being black and having to stand for a song that includes lyrics that talks about your extermination. And you got to stand up and act like you love it. In fact, they even have black people all around the country standing up singing that shit.
just cooning. Cooning for no damn reason. Don't even know why they cooning. Just cooning. On, on auto coon. What's disrespectful is being expected to stand up and be humiliated. Every time a black person stand up for the national anthem, they are fucking being humiliated. Can you imagine if those words, those, those same words were in any song and they were calling for the killing of white people? You think that song would be being played in arenas and stadiums and coliseums, amphitheaters? On baseball, football fields? Do you think that would be happening in America? Hell no. But they got the arrogance to want it to be played as long as it's cool and they talking about killing black people. It's cool. It's time for the song to go. I know you're used to it, but just like that old building that you've been used to seeing all your life and they finally tore that shit down because it was just dilapidated it's time for it to go the baltimore oreos had something to say about the freddie gray matter but the ravens didn't and ray lewis you defended the police killing that boy you must be trying to get your mike vick on and get your job in the nfl because you walking around with chains on and a choke collar looking like a real slave right about now let me tell you something no matter how much money you spend and no amount of playing that you did on that field is going to make up for all of the cooning you've been doing with your Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks, we sick boss, jigaboo looking ass. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.